Oh, don't you like to swim on a day like today, James? We've got some hippo, but this is interesting. We now have five hippo in Biffles Hook Dam. No longer just the four. We've got five of them. There's a this one closest to us is the big male. I can just see by the size of his head, um, he's definitely the big male. And then I'm not sure if the others are only females, or if there are some uh, if there are some young males there too. But they do look like there are some young younger hippo and females. Now I think what's happened is this dominant male is potentially trying to mate with some of these females. We saw him mating with at least one of the females the other day. So he's got a nice little a little spot here for himself and they are territorial the males will be territorial he will try and keep out any other males but i don't think that hip any hippo will come and challenge this big male he's rather large watch we might see some interaction here see how they're snorting at one another it's almost like i do think i do think that the one is a female the one off to the left it's just gone under now the thing is what happens too it's because these hippo keep bobbing up and down there we go you can see all five now i was going to say some of you might not believe me that they're five but they are there was a quick glimpse of all five of them with their heads up Now, I think they would have returned to the water very, very recently because they most likely would have been out feeding during the night. I actually wonder if they would have been out while it was raining or if they decided to, to, to return to the water before the rain. I'm not sure. I mean, I've seen hippo out in the rain before, but I don't know if they just prefer being in the water when it does rain. So, Michael, I think what happens with hippo when they're moving around, they start to get to know their territory very well. So that's how they can learn where the bodies of water are. And they also probably pick up on the smell of water. A lot of these animals can smell the water from quite far away. Elephant do, and I wouldn't be surprised if the hippo do too. Oh, listen, see, there's definitely interaction going on here. <laughs> Now it, it, it appears, now I'm not sure, but it appears as if the male is, I don't know if he's recently moved into the area. I'm just trying to think now because we saw the, a, a male, I don't know if it's the same male, but we saw a male the other day that was mating here. This male looks very big, judging by the size of his head. But every time he tries to move closer to the hippo, the one hippo kind of gets in the way, that one's sticking its head up just to the left, if we move to the left, there we go, that one, that one over there, oh, watch, watch his yawn, wow, that's a big mouth, I was hoping he'd really lift his mouth out of the water, he didn't, that's often a bit of a display, now, I don't know if it's because that other hippo is preventing this male from moving closer to those younger ones, Again, I, I don't know, but it's just interesting behavior. I can see there's definitely a bit of conflict between two hippo here at the moment, between this big male and that other hippo, which I'm not sure if it is a female or a younger male. I doubt it would be a younger male because this big male would not tolerate a male trying to keep him away from females. I think it is just a female that's potentially trying to protect the younger hippo. Not that there's any danger, but I think with all animals, when there are big males that are potentially looking to mate, the females do become a bit uneasy in the, the whole group, if, whether it be a lion pride, whether it be a herd of elephant, and they all become very uneasy and nervous when a big male full of testosterone comes in. Look at that. Yes, wow, look at those teeth, those, those big tusks of the hippo. So 
This is really good. Great interaction. Yeah, have a look at that. Watch and see, he's moving closer. But there's a lot of snorting. He's been opening his mouth, often opening the mouth, displaying those teeth. There's a bit of a territorial or dominance display. They will try and uh, intimidate some of the other hippo. Also, if, for example, if uh, an animal, if we got too close to the water, hippo will start yawning and sometimes thrash their head through the water. All signs that they are uneasy or feeling aggressive. Bit of a warning sign not to come closer.